In this tutorial, we will show you how to do the land use mapping using QGA. To do that, first of all, you have to download the GIS data from a geo portal. In this tutorial, we will use GeoFabric. First of all, go to the geofabric.de. We posted the link in the description. Then go to the download. Then go to the Europe. There are a lot of things. Go to the Europe. Then find the. I will work in Hamburg in Germany. I am going to the Germany. Then Hamburg. Then select the shape file. There are a lot of file formats. Download it. <coughs> <coughs> now we will import the file go to the folder where you download the file extract the file first uh, QGIS can't import the zip file you have to ex export it first extract it first then go to the directory select all now you see there are the the view is tilted we have to select our coordinate our coordinate system is 32 632 it's utm 32 zone just put it now our site or draw our site in another video we showed how to draw the site here we are importing our site just go to the shape file where you draw your site or your bookmates are sharing the same shape file import it shape file and do you, if you want to know how to draw the site that is another video here in the description how to draw site now here is our site just zoom in to zoom in layer to see it and go to the properties to change the color <coughs> so now here is the whole hamburg map map we just uh, we will just keep the our site and another things we will delete we need all unnecessary layers there are lot of layers actually we don't need this sort of layer and each layer if you see if you check the open attribute table you'll you'll get a you'll get understanding which layer is important for you and which layer is not uh, so you can check it anytime I am deleting all unnecessary layers. I will just um, put three layers building, landscape, and poise and site four layer. Uh, mistakenly, I deleted the site the first time, but you, sh you shouldn't delete the site. Site and another three layers. Okay. Then delete others. I will get back my site again. It's a mistake. Then I will just clip it. Go to the back tool, go to the geo processing tool, then go to the clip for the input layer. Select any necessary layer for the poise and the, for the overlay layer, choose the site. Then only site will information within site will remain there and we'll delete the main poise layer. I don't need I don't know what this poet means, just then do the same process for the building and same process for the landscape for the i change the clip near as poise now i am doing it for the buildings again input layer building 
and the overlay layer should be our site. Now delete the mother layers. Uh, rename the clipped as building. Now do the same thing for the last one, landscaping, input layer, landscape and overlay layer, our site. By clipping, we are just keeping our data within our site, thus it will make everything easier. We'll rename it again properly now we'll make permanent our this layer this layer are not permanent click on it just save it in your local drive same thing for the landscape and poise This is the way we will save all the temporary layer as a permanent layer. Okay. Now right click, go to the properties, go to the category, categorize, give value for type for this layer within the type layer you will find this then go to the landscape properties categorize value for f class by f class you will get it uh, from the open attribute table when you open the attribute table you will understand which which value should i put same thing just categorize keep the value f plus now from three layers we we'll individually select the functions related to private from the building from the building layer we are selecting all the private things this cabin garage everything so and switch off all other sub layers after to select this toggle bar and go to the selection box select everything first of all you must on the toggle bar then right click on the building layer go to the export save selected feature as all the selected feature we will save as another layer by naming it mm, private one for other two layers we have another two private things so i am naming it private one save okay now here we have another layer called private one now we'll select the okay now i'm selecting the semi-public zones from the building 
name it same public Now select the same problem from the poise. These functions are related to same public school shelter. So I selected those. Right click on the poise. I don't know what the poise means. Then Here we tell same public there is a first first line there is a one symbol then it's same public two okay then select the all public layers and save it as one by one public one public two public three in in future we will merge all the public as a public one public two public three as a, just as a public but first of all we have to this problem is we can select all the public in all layers uh, simultaneously to select separately save select feature as now we're selecting the public space from poise poise layer then we'll do the same process for the landscape for the landscape selected the public space select landscape Select the elements within the landscape. Right click, save, see, export, save feature as name it public tree. Then there are some unknown layers. You don't, shouldn't select it. Let's delete it. Then we'll delete these three base layers. We don't need them anymore. We already categorized it in public, private, and same pipe layer. Then we will merge this layer to merge. Select those. Go to the vector data pro data management tool. Go to the merge. Select the same public two to same public group. Okay. then set the file as a permanent layer in your local drive write it same public final and now see that is same public final just delete other two same public all are merged now just remove it right click remove layer do the same process for public one two three go to the player go to the vector data management tool merge vector layer select the public one two three okay set the file After saving this, we will get a merged public files and we will delete the previous layer. This is the way we are filtering and deleting the previous layer every time. Now keep the private as yellow, say public orange and public red. Now we are Doing the visualization the 
Open public, go to the properties. Select the orange. Public space. Select the red. Now we will open an open street map. Go to the browser to XYZ panel, open street map. Double click on it. Go to the layer. Now it's here. Now we will draw the shape file. Actually, the zone we will draw as a shape file. Just name it private zone and keep the geometry type as polygon. Here is point. Don't keep it point, just keep it polygon. Right click on it and give it polygon. Now select the shape file on the toolbar. Select the polygon. Decide it is this one. Then draw the polygon over this marked red line. This red line I just uh, marked because we we shouldn't keep the street within our zone. The street should be out of the zone. But for the time constraint, I am not doing this now. You have to do it uh, with lot with proper time. I am drawing a zone for the whole private area. The the yellow area is the private area. But there is no, there is a lot of uh, private zones here, so I will mark the total area as a private. The red things it's actually unclassified. I should have deleted it before. I didn't delete it, so these are showing here as red. I am taking the whole yellow building as my private zone. And doing the same process for the same public zone. Keep the uh, my zone is yellow, and the same public zone is orange. Then we'll make all the build form as black, so it will be more visible. We don't identify building in landscape. Uh, land use map we just need to identify the area it's actually talk about the ownership it's not talk about the which building is serving which service now select one by one layer with the private the properties okay <coughs> mm, my public zone has turned into black but uh, they should be red okay. I'm turning all the all other public private zone as well I will merge everything except the zone now I will focus on zone and I will Merge all other build forms. See here, we just we don't need different kinds of buildings. I create a merged layer as build form. We already showed how to merge. My public layer has been turned into grey. First of all, change the build form as black. Now we delete the unnecessary build forms layer. We already merged it 
the build from layer and final output will be like this so thank you everyone for seeing the video and i think you have a idea how to do the land land use mapping in qgis